uh, this one will be for uh, Steph. Just, you know, what if you like 90 minutes coming back? And then what if you could just talk about your what you saw defensively from the team today? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, uh, I know, I'm on my way back on the field and feel healthy, felt really good to, to be back out there and, and body felt great. So I'm happy about that. Um, defensively, I think we, we did okay. We just had a few mental lapses. I think, uh, you know, their first goal comes and then I don't know if we're, uh, we still have our heads down um, on kickoff and they scored the second one right away. You know, they come down the right side and I think it's three, three, three of their guys waiting for the tap in and we only have, I think, new back there. And so uh, a bit of a mental error that leads to unfortunately a quick second one. And then obviously the, the, the third is, uh, I think we did really well to to mount pressure and, and create tempo in the second half. And we, we get that equalizer. Great, amazing. We feel like we're going to go on and find a winner possibly even. And we just kind of lapse again. And, uh, and those are things we need to iron out quickly because it's it's too much too much work offensively and defensively to, to walk away with nothing here. So uh, frustrating when it comes to that. Thanks, Steph. Jeremiah O'Shan, go ahead. Just gave you permission to speak. Yeah, uh, Danny, if you could just speak to I, I know that the, the, we've talked a lot about the struggles of scoring from open play for you guys to get that goal. Does that lift any sort of uh, I don't know, does it does that is that any sort of consolation in a, in a result like this? I mean, I, I think so. I think it's it's important for the offense to get going. You know, I think that's definitely something we've been stressing and training and making sure that everybody offensively is dialed in. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess that is one small positive. But, of course, you know, at the end, we don't win the game. It's, it's not that important. You know, getting getting the three points is most important, or at least getting walking away with the time. So. Thanks, Danny. Uh, Jada Evans, go ahead. Thanks. Um, thanks for the time, y'all. Um, Steph, you said that mental lapses, uh, it also though seemed like Jackson didn't have a, a great game uh, tonight. Can you talk a little bit maybe about, about that, um, his play, and then also with a new midfield, how much that might have uh, affected some of the things that you guys were wanted or impacted some of the things that you guys wanted to do? Yeah, look, I mean, midfield-wise, we had uh, some, so some younger guys in the mid, 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 middle of the park. And so I think it was important for us to to not put them in crappy situations early on and, and find a, a way to the game, not put them under too much pressure. Um, and I think they did, they did quite well. You know, it's, it's difficult to, to step in the middle uh, and, and fill shoes that we usually have in there. So I think they did, they did a good job. Well, I mean, I think every, everybody's hunger and effort was there. Um, as for Jackson, you know, I think he had... He had Good spells, good game too. But um, you know, it, it's not just him too. You're, you're saying he had a bad game or he made some errors. I think we we, we all made errors this today, and sometimes they, they happen in more crucial moments than in others, unfortunately. And maybe maybe you know they get picked out a bit more than others. But um, it's you know I'm not I'm not going to say Jackson is the reason why we gave up this goal or that goal or anything like that. I think he had a good game and um, and, and also controlled controlled the middle uh, quite well when we had possession. I think when, when I was talking before about creating tempo, you know, uh, I, was, I was on him for the, almost the whole second half, try to create tempo, try to create tempo. And he did, his passing was sharp, um, it, it was quick. Uh, and I think that's what allowed us to kind of um, add, uh, add pressure to the opponent and then obviously have a good finish with uh, most with the header, header there. So unfortunate that when, when all those good things get overshadowed by small little details that we are not able to do and then obviously not get the result. But uh, I'm not going to see a lot of players uh, tonight. Uh, it's a collective effort always, and, and we got to do better collectively. Uh, Danny, yeah, Jada, go ahead with your follow-up. Oh, yeah. Well, I just wanted to ask Danny, um, you know, what was messaging or anything like that as far as when you uh, entered the match? Uh, you know, I think when I came into the game, we were down 2-0, so message from the coach was get in, create chances, be dangerous. And, you know, that's what I try to do my whole career is, is when I step on the field, try to, try to create chances. And I think we did a great job. We got back into the game. And, you know, at 2-2, two -two, it's, it's our responsibility, you know, at least at least walk away with a point here. So I think we're all disappointed. Um, you know, yeah, like in crucial moments, we have to be better. And 
uh, and yeah, now it's just learning from this and then moving on to the next one. All right, again, media, if you'd like to ask a question, please use the hand raise function in Zoom. Uh, we'll hit a couple more and uh, circle back for some follow-ups. Uh, so Felipe Makeda, give me your permission to talk now. Go ahead, Felipe. Thank you, Matt. Question is for Stefan. Um, Stefan, as, a, as the captain of the team, do you have a chance to address the team at halftime when the team was losing 0-0? And what do you uh, tell the team? Well, I mean, uh, you know, I think we all kind of talked in half and said, you know, you got to you got to keep fighting, you got to keep believing. If they score two goals in a matter of three minutes, we can do the same thing. Um, and so, uh, just got to find that first first goal, and I think they're they're gonna start sweating, and that's kind of what ended up happening. But um, yeah, it's. I think the second goal is a frustrating one because if you walk into a halftime. You know, one zero, then it's it's a frustrating one, but it, it it's it's just not that's so big of a hole, right? Uh, and we, we kind of get fired up. We scored that first one in the second half, and, and I think we have more time to again mount that pressure. And um, which I think that was a really good thing today. That was a positive for me. I mean, I've obviously only been watching games from the outside um, in the past, but I think we were able to create good tempo and and. and had the opponent, the opponent bend and, and have to defend for their life for, for the last few minutes there. So that was a positive. Obviously, it's not going to help us uh, because we didn't end up any points. But um, we need to do more of that. We need to do more of that. Be dangerous. Be asking questions. And I think, um, uh, like Danny said, it was important that we scored it from the run of play um, because it's going to give us some confidence. And if we can mount that pressure and create tempo, and I think we'll find more goals. Alex, we have a three more here uh, and then we'll move on to coach Schmetzer uh Jeremiah go ahead with your follow-up yeah uh I know Brian has talked about the need to uh that it's especially after a goal happens there's a a, a special need to just kind of clamp down and and defend more uh or de defend smarter uh how do you I guess how how do you how do you process that when you guys give up two goals almost immediately after a, a previous goal? One of them, obviously, by San Jose, the other one after you you guys equalized. What's this for? Do, do you care what, what response to this or? Yeah, just yeah. How do you like? How do you how do you process that? What do you what do you take away from it? Jeremiah, uh, do you want this question for Steph or Danny? I guess Steph. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's a saying, whenever a goal happens, whether it's on, on our side or on the other side, it's next five. Next five are very important and important, and not, not so much physically, but mentally. Um, and, you know, that was said today again on all the goals. Um, but it, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it, 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 can't, it can't happen, you know, because it, it's like set pieces, you know. You, you have this, this is natural um, emotion that, where you kind of take take a big sigh and you relax. Um, it just it happens a lot of times, and, and with goals, it, 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 it tends to happen too. So all you can do is try to prepare players to not have that response. But sometimes it just happens, and, and, and I'm, not, I'm not saying that's there's nothing you can do. We need to do better uh, because, like I said, I think that second goal bothers me the most because it makes it, it's a double it's a double hole. We turn a hole into a double hole in a matter of minutes, you know. The third one is frustrating, obviously, because we just finally climbed out of that hole. But I think if we give ourselves a better chance of just being down 1-0, we're going to bring on some more weapons in the second half. And, and with that, again, with that pressure that we're able to mount, I think we'll win this game. So uh, it, it's learning from these mistakes now. It's early in, in the season. It, it, it cannot become the norm. That's for sure. The norm needs to be that next five has to be crucial. There's nothing that can happen um, negatively in the next five after something something uh groundbreaking like a goal for or a goal against thanks two questions left uh jada why don't you go ahead and ask uh your final question and then maz you'll close us out thanks uh steph can you tell us what your uh like how you sustained your injury and um just your process getting back yeah i um i pulled my hammy uh i think two or three days before uh season starter against LAFC. So it was a frustrating one. Um, 
pretty minor, uh, worked back and then unfortunately had a bit of a setback um, that kept me out a bit longer. Um, but now I feel strong. Um, you know, we really wanted to make sure on, on the second go around that we took our time and not stress it too much. Um, I feel healthy. I feel powerful. Um, so, so I'm happy that I'm, I'm finally back. It was difficult to watch players train and, and then obviously also play games and kind of sit on the side. So, um, but having said that, I think Andrew has played phenomenally up until um, uh, I just played today. So, you know, we're in good hands. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, injuries are, are part of the game. Um, it's always frustrating when they happen, but you try to come back as quickly as as fully as possible to make sure you don't drag these things along. So I feel good, and hopefully this is the last thing for me this year. <clears throat> Thanks, Maz Vida. Why don't you go ahead and close us out, and then we'll uh, go ahead and start Coach Metro's portion. Absolutely. Danny, I know you probably – it would have been nice for you. you. You probably want to score another one or maybe two more to get the win. But you did get that goal, and we've ta- we've been talking about tempo. Can you take us through that goal – in terms of Baker's cross real quickly finding you and you wasting no time to get the ball in the back of that net. Um, yeah, I think, I think we were doing a good job of putting the pressure on them. You know, the whole game was happening in their half. I think we had them, you know, on their heels, they were, they were feeling the pressure and we were doing so great in that point of the game. And Cody played, you know, a fantastic ball in and I was just trying to make sure I made contact with it. So, so close to the goal. I know I just need to, to make contact and it will go in because it's so close. So, you know, he, he did a great job to, to cross that in. And, you know, uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously good goal, but you know, we want to, we want to at least walk out there with a tie at the very least. So still more to work on.